Hey guys, welcome to the Christmas tour of our home for the year of 2021. This will be minimalism style as it matches our home. I wanted to incorporate a little bit more of a minimalist style for Christmas as to not overwhelm our home since it's not a very big space and I just didn't want like Christmas exploding all over our house. I noticed in the past that I tend to take down our Christmas tree right after Christmas Day and I think this year I'll leave it up because it feels more a part of our house than like an intrusion in our house if you know what I mean. So this is our tree. It is a four to four and a half foot tree and I have um, a real tree obviously so I'm showing you the base that it is sitting in and I did not get a tree collar or a tree skirt. Um, I did plan on getting a tree collar initially, and I'm glad I didn't because it would have been too big for our tree, but I will show you in a few minutes that I will surround the base with presents and it will cover it up so there was no need to buy anything extra to go around the bottom of our tree. We definitely did a few things different this year. Right now I'm showing you the ornaments. I just went with the black glass ornaments that we have that are very glittery. They have a nice sparkle to them. And then the lights, I did not expect this, I did not plan it, but we just put one strand of battery operated lights in the Christmas tree and they're so dainty and soft and they just feel super elegant. It has a battery pack here as I'm showing you and it's on a timer so I don't even have to think about it. Still on the first like, um, two AA batteries that are in there and it's actually been really great. That was just a total whim decision. It was not planned out. I started to put Christmas lights in it and you could just see the wires and it just felt really overwhelming. So we really, really like this idea. If you want smaller lights like this, you can go on Amazon and get like a plug in version, um, which is something I considered, but we got away with what we have here and it works for this year since our tree is so small. Moving over to our console table in our living room, I have this arrangement on the lower shelf. There's actually a branch in the back that's from our Christmas tree when we had to cut off the base for it to fit into the stand. I also have this gold pedestal bowl that is so multifunctional. It's such a great piece to have. I will link it below. It's from West Elm. I've put candy in it before, but this time I have put extra um, glass ornaments in it that we did not use on our tree. I also have several of these cedar wreaths. These are like faux wreaths I got a couple of years ago that I love from Joanne Fabric. Usually I scatter these throughout the house like on surfaces and this year I just wanted to keep it simplified so I just stacked all three together and then put them at the bottom of this bowl for like a little arrangement. And then the next thing I want to show you are these, well actually before I show you the two houses here, I'm going to show you the wreath that I have on our fireplace. I honestly did not know where to put this, um, so I just kind of stuck it up there and I have a black velvet bow tied to it. So these two houses I unexpectedly love. They are from Target, they're still available, so I will link them down below. It's not typically something that I gravitate toward, but I looked at them and they look kind of wintry. Um, so I can leave these out well past Christmas. It's not just a Christmas um, specific kind of decoration. And I really love the character and the warmth of them. They're made from stoneware or earthenware. I was a little hesitant to get these at first and I'm so glad that I went back and picked them up. I'm just a lot more thoughtful about what I bring into our home. I don't want it to be something I don't like in a year or two and I end up getting rid of. Um, so anything that I bring in, I just wanna be sure that we really truly like it. Here's a quick overview of our living room. Again, you can just see the very simplified things I have there. Now on the patio door that's outside near the Christmas tree, I do have white icicle lights. So those come on at night. So now I'm just adding presents around the tree. I had some of these right away, so that's why I did not feel the need to go out and get some sort of tree skirt or collar or anything to go around the tree because I had 
presents to go under there. And then this year we mixed it up. We went totally different than we usually do and got a very vintagey classic wrapping paper. I got this at Home Goods, by the way. And then again, I'm just showing you the warm and cozy little fairy lights in there. And I actually like the way the wire sticks out. Typically, I like to hide the wires, but there's just something about like that coppery gold that just adds like a cool kind of warmth to the tree. And then my daughter has a couple of advent calendars I thought I would share with you. We always get one of these little 99 cent ones at Trader Joe's every year. So we picked that one up. The second one is super fun. I'm glad I got this when I did because they sold out pretty quick, but this is a lint chocolate one that I got at Costco. I paid like $17 for it, but I've learned my lesson. Like if you wait closer to December, these advent calendars are either gone or the prices go way up if you buy them online. So that's super fun for her. And again, here's like an overview of the living room with the presents there. And I absolutely love it. My family loves it. I think it's our favorite tree ever. Now I'm gonna walk you over to my espresso bar because this is the only other area that I have anything Christmassy in our house. I moved the two fluted glass trees over here. They were in the place of those tea light candle holder houses in the living room, but I recently bought those and just moved the trees over here. Basically Christmas for us is not so much about filling our house with Christmas decor. It's more about like the baking, like the smells of like good things baking or cooking. It's playing a puzzle like this Costco one that my daughter picked out, which is super fun. It's the smells of like scented candles and the taste of wine and coffee with loved ones and friends and just hanging out. So it's more than just decorations to me. It's a little touch of decorations mixed with all of the other things and really the whole purpose, the whole reason for the season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can always catch me over on Instagram. Thank you guys so much.